Hello lovely bloodsuckers, and I am doing my first Digimon Theory video. Now, the theory that I am addressing today is Digimon Zero Two The Beginning. Now this is my own theory, others have had theory on this before, especially because of how the trailer has shown the first Digidescent as he claims to be and his former partner I believe it is in a giant digi egg and um a lot of people believe that we might see bond forms again such as like they did with Agumon and Gabumon with Agumon's uh, bond form of courage and Gabumon's bond form of friendship. Then there are others that believe that there will be brand new jawgresses, maybe. But my theory on this is that we'll actually see Vmon become Vidramon. Or Vidramon Gold or Vidramon Red. Now, this can happen. This is, there's a good chance that this will happen. Not a good chance, I shouldn't say that because it's still a theory, but it's possible for all three Vidramons to happen, is what I'm trying to say. And here's why Vmon can become Vidramon Gold with the Gigi Metal of Fate. While Vidram, and now if Vmon does become Vidramon, Vidramon actually has a dark evolution. Now, but a lot of people don't realize that the dark evolution for Vidramon is Red Vidramon. And the reason why I went with this is because, at least for Vidramon, is because my theory is is that we will see maybe not the full all force Vidramon line. But we definitely will see a all force line. So my theory is, is whenever the a uh, fight happens, which of course there's gonna be a fight. Come on, that should be expected by now. But what I'm saying is whenever this fight starts or happens or maybe one of the scenes, Vimon becomes Vidramon. And then Vimon actually ends up using the Digimental of Fate and becomes Golden Vidramon. But no matter how many times he digivolves or tries to help the others, he ain't strong enough. So the anger becomes the one that goes back to Vidramon, then to Red Vidramon. Now, my theory also for the Vimon is. Even Red Vidramon can't stop this force, whatever it's going to be. We don't know who, who, what, how uh, the villains are going to come into play or what's exactly going to happen. But we know that there is going to be a fight. Because, come on, it's Digimon. Of course there's going to be a fight. So, uh, when Vmon's in his Vmon form... He Sutton unlocks, giving him Warp Digi Evolution. And this will cause him to become All Force Vidramon. And then from there, he unlocks his Ultra, which is All Force Vidramon Future Mode. Now, for the others, I did kind of something similar. But instead of with Meg, well, I did get the Megas too, but um, Steinmon, I did not actually give him other evolutions. He just goes straight to Bancho Steinmon. He unlocks Warp Evolution and becomes Bancho Steinmon. Now. I was gonna try to get a Bancho Steamon at Ultra, but there really isn't nothing that Bancho Steamon stands of uh I said stands. 
evolves into because Banshee are technically supposed to be like the final uh, evolution of anything. So this would be uh, and Banjo Steamon has been used as Steamons in other media of Digimon the f uh, de facto Mega. So this is his de facto Mega. He doesn't get an Ultra, unfortunately. Now, move it on to Hawkmon. With Hawkmon, I get for this one, I kind of had to try to decide how to go with it. So, we know that Hawkmon's de facto ultimate is Godramon. 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 I always... Because when I say Godramon, I'm thinking of Godramon. But I mean Godramon. They sound the same to me, at least. Or when I say it, it said they sound the same to me. I don't know. But y'all know who I mean, because I'll have the picture up as well. But from there, the Mega, I was trying to decide. Do I want to go Canon Mega for Gardramon or not? And I didn't. And here's why. I think Voldramon would actually... Or Voldram... Voldramon? Yeah, Voldramon. I said that right, I guess. Would actually be a better pick for Hawkmon's Mega. And here's why, because from there, Waldra's Ultra would be Ravemon Burst Mode. Now, I went with Ravemon Burst Mode because even though Hawkmon is considered the uh, masculine for uh, counterpart to Beomon, in a way, in Adventure lore, I should say. In Adventure lore, he's considered the masculine counterpart to Beomon. So, I think Voldramon to for Mega and then Ultra to Rave Burst Mode is actually pretty a good pick for the Hawkmon to Mega and Ultra. Now, the only ones I didn't do this for is TK and Kari, because they already got their Megas. So, they already got their full evolution line. And again, like I said, I don't think... At least for Vmon and Warmon, they won't get their full evolution line. But they'll probably have Warp for the Megas. Now, Armadillomon was the hardest. With Armadillomon, I use his de facto champion and Killimon and Killimon. Yeah, one second. Sorry about that, my mom called me. So, what I went with for his ultimate, I actually, believe it or not, went with Groundramon. Then from Garajamon, I went to Breakdramon. Then from Breakdramon for the Ultra, it's Examon. The reason why I went with this is because even though Groundramon is a dragon, dragon, and if you think about dragon lore and uh, dinosaur lore, they are connected in a lot of ways. There have been stories where they have been connected. So I had to go with this. I think this would have fit the most. Now, again, this is just my theory. I don't know if this will actually happen. Anyways, I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. I have forgot to go. Mwah.